What does BTK stand for and why are we talking about that today? Yeah, so BTK stands for Brutin's tyrosine kinase. So this is a protein that is one of the final steps in mast cell activation. So when this protein gets activated, if you will, it sends a signal into the mast cell that allows the mast cell to activate and degranulate it. So it's one of the kind of the final steps of mast cell activation. And for that reason, it's really important when we think about mast cell disorders and mast cell activation more generally. We've talked a lot about mast cells on this podcast. That's like one of our favorite cells to talk about, of course, is allergists. And so when we're talking about degranulation, we're talking about the release of all of those chemicals inside of the mast cell. And the main chemical that we're talking about there is histamine, which causes those hives that we're trying to prevent from happening. And what's really exciting is that we actually just got approval for a BTK inhibitor just two days ago that is is approved for chronic spontaneous urticaria. So this conversation is happening right at the right time.